Sources that emit air pollutants in California are required to comply with emissions limits in federal, state, and local rules and regulations. These emissions limits are determined after a scientific review of technologies that remove, reduce, or eliminate air pollution. Once formed, pollution can be removed from air prior to being released through capture or cleaning. The removal of air pollutants is often referred to as after-treatment. Examples of after-treatment include using a filter to remove particulates or chemically altering emissions to reduce pollution. One common type of after-treatment for heavy-duty vehicles are diesel particulate filters, or DPFs. A DPF is used to capture and remove toxic diesel particulate matter from the exhaust stream of a diesel engine before it can contribute to air pollution. Instead of trying to remove air pollution after it is produced, some strategies can help reduce the formation of air pollution. A common strategy to reduce air pollution is the use of alternative fuels that create fewer emissions when they are burned. For example, CARB has set limits on certain chemicals and fuels, such as sulfur and diesel fuel, or lead and gasoline. This reduces emissions from all diesel and gasoline fuel vehicles and engines. Another example of a reduction strategy is low VOC paint, which uses a different composition than traditional paint to reduce air pollution. While the previous two strategies reduce air pollution, there are also options aimed at eliminating local air pollution entirely, called zero emissions technologies. Zero emissions technologies are often the best option to ensure long-lasting air pollution reduction. An example of this is the use of solar panels and wind turbines to produce power as an alternative to traditional coal or gas power plants. Incentives can be used to help reduce public exposure to air pollutants already emitted or advance clean technology. CARB has many incentive programs. For example, CARB's Community Air Protection Program has funded emissions exposure reduction projects in overburdened communities where there are many sources of air pollution. Some common examples are air filtration projects in schools and homes that improve indoor air quality. Incentives can also be used for things like truck rerouting projects that help reduce emissions in a community. In some cases, Government agencies may offer incentive programs to help pay for and support innovative clean technologies. An example of this are the incentives made available for buying an electric vehicle. Identifying and supporting the deployment of clean technology by using regulatory and incentive programs are an important part of CARB and the local air district's mission. In the next video, we will learn about how enforcement programs are critical to ensuring that these programs result in emissions reductions.